Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see Paris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman. Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. So, uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much, and she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't. Grossly incompetent, and in my opinion, has a very low IQ. But we'll find out about her IQ during the debate, okay? Let's find out about her IQ. To do with the debate the other night. Oh, yeah. oh amazing. amazing. Took that old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a bad right. guy. He just quit, you know. He's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep. I got him out of the rest. Well, and that means we have Kamala. Oh. I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. She's so <laughs> pathetic. It's so amazing. It's just, just so fucking bad. So I just can't imagine. But can you imagine that guy with oh, dealing with Putin and the president of China, who's a fierce person? He's a fierce man. A very tough guy. And they see him. They probably they can't. But if, if they just announce he's he's probably quitting. Good. Good. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hey, man. Listen, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Listen, listen. I, I seen this when I was out yesterday as well. It went all the way. It, it spread through the waves. Uh, I wanted to be on it, but I was just out of pocket. But anyway, man, Donald Trump, man. Donald Trump is the most entertaining person you want to watch when it comes down to his campaign run. Donald Trump, uh, he continues to thrive with the people who follow him. Uh, you've seen him get aggressive. You've seen him, uh, uh, you know, fought, he fought COVID, all kind of stuff. Well, now, you know, of course, I knew the the, the woman thing was going to happen where people are going to start, you know, challenging the fact of, again, are you a racist? Again, uh, do you are you a womanizer? You know, or, or what type of guy do we have running? This is the thing, man. Like I said, me. If we in trouble anyway, go for me. But at the end of the day, I just look at what's going on and it's it's utterly entertaining to see how we tear this country down, split it in the middle, and, and then after that try to build it back up for the next four years. That's always been interesting to me. And um, to not like somebody then to support them at the end when the race is over is really not a real thing for me. Now, I don't know how others may let me know. Do you think that Trump can... and Kamala Harris can tear the, the Dickens out of each other for this run and then come back together after this run and say, let's put America back together again and then let's run for four more years. And then after that, whoever else want to get it, they can get it and we're going to fall out again. And it's just a, a, a never ending story. And um, that's what I've seen for many, many years uh, in these debates and how they do our country. But. I definitely stand on, make sure you guys get out there and vote. Make sure you guys try to be the reason that the difference is made. Keep yourself enthused on who's going to be sitting in those seats. Try to figure out a way to change things. You know, it's tough for the change it from inside the bubble, but at the end of the day, you got to do something. And that's all you really got is your vote. But let's talk about Trump. Did he really actually call Kamala Harris a uh, uh, B-I-T-C-H? This is something that they've been um, saying since yesterday. Um, I listened to the tape. We actually have the actual footage. I'm going to listen to it again and, and, and uh, here in a minute. But I just want to say, did he or did he? I know he called him pathetic. I know he said he got that old, bu old boy out of there in a, in a very tough, rough way when it comes to Biden. But what did he actually say? Did he say that uh, she was a B-I-T-C-H? Uh, this is the actual footage, I believe. Um, you guys can go in the comments, tell me if it's there's something somewhere else, but this is what I came up on. So, um, I got reality TV. Reality TV, I know, I want a woman's perspective and what you think about this. How you doing this morning? I am great. Blessed. I, I, you know, I don't do the politic thing, but, uh, Trump is hilarious. I mean, I know if... <laughs> But watching Trump is like watching reality TV. Well, he was so, a star in that. I mean, everything gonna be the star every time he step on the podium or anything. Because 
no matter what people say, people want to hear what he got to say. Whether yeah. it's bullshit or not. Well, here, let me, uh, well, well, let me see. Let's listen in. Let's see. Did he actually call K Kamala Harris uh, B-I-T-C-H? Hold on. Just a second. Did you do the visit the other night? Oh, oh, amazing. That old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad guy. He just quit, you know. He's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep. I got him out of there. And that means we have Kamala. Yeah. I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. <laughs> she's so pathetic. It's so amazing. It's just so fucking bad. So I just can't imagine. But wow. Uh, uh, effing something. Uh, it, it, it was very beneath the breath. Um, I don't know what was that that he said. Hold on, let me. I'm gonna listen one more time. What do you think, Reality TV? I wouldn't be surprised if he did say it. <laughs> hold, hold on one second. Let me let me get it one more time because I'm gonna try to get it right up on top of it. So bad. She's so pathetic. She's so pathetic. It's, it's just so fucking bad. So I just can't. wow. It it, it sounds like it. He didn't say dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it. Like I said, man, uh, he's, he's, he's never letting back or letting go of what he feels. He's always been a man of many words. Don't forget, don't forget he'll grab a, a coochie. Yeah, he said that, but he also was like, you know, and this other, that she's not the blacker. He always said, it, the way he says black is amazing, you know. Well, he, uh, he likes to expose his uh, opponent. Well, he's definitely giving her all all she got, you know, right now when he with the way he's uh he's hitting the campaign trail, you know. And what did you think? Like I said, the way they tear the country down and for for a whole campaign run, uh, it's just tough all the way up into November. It is very tough trying to trying to deal with this whole situation of them, uh, you know, so called going at one another, and then after that, everybody comes back together. We happy. United. I just don't know about that whole, you know, layout of how things are designed in a pol political run, you know? So, at the end of the day, man, all I can say is, do you guys feel like Donald Trump uh, actually really said uh, B-I-T-C-H? Here's the actual footage. Guys, get in here and let me know. Go in the comments. T let me know. Rally the TV. She said he's always been interestingly saying he'd grab him by the P-U-S-S-Y. And, um, you know, um, I just see how, how the race is going. Like I said, Kamala, uh, him, the, both of it, we, we, he even talks about Putin and all kind of stuff and just how stern they are. But get in the comments. Let me know. Uh, what do you think about this? Uh, have is it, we noticed the first time this has ever happened if he had, did say that allegedly this is what's rumored that he said here's the actual footage listen to it over and over again you can back up and listen to it again like I said man uh, this is crazy the way this thing is going down man boss talk <laughs> listen man Trump throw it off man but at the end of the day he, he gonna keep doing his thing, man, all the way up to we find out who will be president of the United States, man. Make sure you got like, subscribe to the channel. Get in, hey, listen, man. Make sure you become members. Check Trump out. Let's see what what Trump got going on, man. Uh, did he say this or not, man? Get in the comments. Let me know. Thanks, Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a boss's talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.